All right, hey guys, so, uh, you know, I wasn't, I had no intention of doing this at any point in time, but I was out here making another video on Psalms, so I figured I'd try this out. Uh, so, VersaCarry uh, adjustable magazine pouches, all right? Uh, these are the only VersaCarry products that I own. Uh, I would not recommend the holster at all based off of anything I've seen. Their belts might be fine, I don't really know. Um, but I don't know anyone reputable that recommends their holsters, uh, and there's plenty of good reasons out there for that. So, just looking at these magazine pouches, again, uh, I would not pay full price for these. Uh, I just checked their website, they're $17.99. There are plenty of other options out there at prices very comparable to that, even in leather. Um, so I wouldn't recommend that at full price. That said, Versa Carry uh, is incredibly popular, for whatever reason unbeknownst to me and they run sales a lot um, like 50% off sales at 50% off these are pretty easy to swallow um, if you're just getting some some pouches to to goof off with um, some range pouches or um, I mean, if you're an air softer these are these are pretty decent value um, so um, half off I think they're a, a solid buy um, full price, not so much. So, uh, VersaCarry has a, you know a ton of pictures on their site, and they do a lot of uh, social media advertising. Um, but you never really get any firm details on what's in the pictures. So, uh, looking at these, so this is a, a Sig P320 compact magazine. Um, so you can see there's plenty of magazine left over to get a good grip on it. Uh, Beretta M9 mag, plenty of magazine hanging out and then a Glock 19 mag with a base plate. Um, so, you know, plenty of magazine there in all three of those options. Those are, you know, fairly common sizes, you know, M9 being a little big. Uh, Glock 19s are incredibly popular. So it, it fits them and there's enough magazine exposed to work with. Uh, so all is fine and dandy there. As far as retention goes, you can dial it in with this screw. It's, it's pretty rough. Um, as far as dialing in that retention goes, you're just tightening the pouch around the top. So I did try a 33 round mag in there, loaded up, tried shaking it upside down, and the retention wasn't awful uh, at the setting I've got it at right now. And they're they're pretty far from max down on, on retention. So you're probably not gonna lose your magazine. Um, so that's a good thing, especially if you're just using them to goof off with. Now VersaCarry does say that they're ambidextrous and that's not a lie. Um, you can you can absolutely stick your magazines in the other direction, uh, but you know it's a little misleading. These are definitely made to be worn uh, on the left side because uh, they're much more streamlined in that direction. Uh, if you flip these around and wear them on the right, you know you're going to be catching this as opposed to the smooth side of the pouch. Um, looking at the belt loop, uh, it looks fairly stout. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about leather quality. I'm not really a big leather user. Um, it is incredibly stiff and you're not gonna enjoy threading this on your belt one bit. Uh, if you have a belt with any thickness to it, uh, I would probably go down a, ha a, a quarter inch on what, what height belt you think you can fit. So I think this is you know, cut for a two inch belt. If you've got a range belt with any body to it, I wouldn't go higher than 1.75, or you're probably not going to get in there. Um, but that said, you know, I can't really say that the quality is awful. They're definitely mass produced. They're definitely not sized for any one thing in particular. Uh, these don't have any inherent volume to them. They're just folded over and sewn. So you're not getting, you know, super quality leather product that's been wet, wet molded to your your item or anything like that. Uh, they do close up a good bit when you pull your mag out. So, you know, re-indexing a mag, not at all impossible. It's not like a, a Blue Force gear 10 speed where it's gonna lay completely flat. I mean, you can you can hook the front of the magazine in there pretty well and re-index it, uh, especially with these being um, outside the waistband. Their inside the waistband stuff is a, a total uh, showstopper as far as reholstering and re-indexing. But there you go, for, for a $10 mag pouch, it's not an awful option. Uh, it'll fit your, your compact and full-size magazines pretty well. 
I'll uh, I'll get you a Glock 26 mag in there so you can see how low that sits. I would not go subcompact in these. Um, but there you go, VersaCarry adjustable magazine holsters. They do have a double out now. Uh, that would probably work a little bit better because you've got a little bit more uh, stability there. These, I don't know. I, I, I've tried them a little bit. Um, they're all right for the money. All right, so there you go, two uh, Glock 26 magazines. Uh, you can see how deep they're seated. So this is the, uh, the Magpul version. Uh, you've got almost no mag and a little bit of base plate there. And then the uh, factory magazine with a Pierce Plus 2, I believe. Um, so you can see grabbing a hold of that. You're going to have to have your retention fairly low uh, to be able to get those out reliably. So subcompact, I'd probably pass. Compact, full size, or carry if you're looking at the SIGs, uh, you should be all right.